So how, how uh, can llamas and camels help in the great effort in HIV research? Well, in a small way, because they make uh, unusual antibodies. Uh, most antibody molecules in the blood have two chains called heavy chains and light chains. Uh, these kinds of animals also make antibodies that have heavy chains only. And uh, these heavy chain only antibodies are useful for HIV research in, in three ways. Uh, first of all, they're helping us to identify sites on the outer envelope of HIV that uh, could be used in vaccine design, how they attach to them, because they can attach to narrower crevices than normal antibodies. Second, uh, the top end of these antibodies um, uh, will bind to HIV and could be used as a microbicide in the vagina for women to protect them against infection uh, from, from men uh, during sexual intercourse. Uh, we don't know that yet, but we're exploring it. And third, uh, they can be used as uh, diagnostic reagents uh, to test whether someone is HIV positive or negative without the need for big machinery. Well, I've been in HIV research ever since HIV was discovered in 1983. But uh, we have only been working with llamas for nine years. Uh, it's taken a long time to get this far, but uh, it's produced promising results. Um, I think it's dangerous to predict times. When HIV was first discovered 32 years ago, people predicted we'd have a vaccine within five years. Now we're still waiting for a vaccine. So uh, I can't say uh, when uh, llamas can be used, but they're already being used for experimental work. Um, it doesn't harm the animal, it's just like being immunized against a uh, common veterinary vaccine. But we take a blood sample from the animal and we use it in the lab. And that is already useful. Uh, I don't think llama antibodies will be used uh, in the bloodstream of humans. But as I say, they could be applied uh, to external surfaces and they can be used for diagnostics for diagnosis of infection, for uh, preventing sexual transmission, and for helping to design vaccines that have a better chance of working. One of the problems with HIV research is that uh, animals are not susceptible to infection by HIV, except for chimpanzees, and they are on the endangered sites list, so we cannot use them experimentally. So we have to uh, use proxy methods to study um, HIV. Uh, there are um, macaque monkeys, such as the rhesus monkey here in India, which can be, uh, have, can be infected with some African monkey viruses that are related to HIV. Uh, the African species stay well, funnily enough, but uh, the rhesus monkeys go down with a form of AIDS. And then there's a hybrid virus, um, a virus that is um, based on the simian or monkey version, but it has the outer envelope derived from HIV, the human version. And that is proving very useful in vaccine research because uh, monkeys can be infected but it has the um, outer coat of the HIV, which is uh, the target uh, for vaccines. So we can test first, is it useful, is it working in monkeys before proceeding to humans? Uh, so those animals are very useful. There's another kind of experimental animal, uh, which is the laboratory mouse. Now you can take mice that have um, uh, their own immune system ablated 
and you can put in human immune cells. They don't reject them because they don't have their own immunity. And then you can use this. It's a kind of um, furry incubator, if you like, a furry test tube, I called them once. But they're, they're useful because you can look at how the immune cells uh, in the body of a small animal, the mouse, are reacting to uh, HIV. You can infect those human immune cells inside the mouse with HIV. You can immunize those mice and they make human antibodies. So that's another useful experimental model. Um, so I, I think between monkeys, uh, mice with human immune systems, um, the llamas and camels, there's different ways of approaching HIV research. So there, there are different kinds of experimental situations um, with other animals. Um, llamas or monkeys or mice with human immune systems. And I think it depends on what question you're asking uh, within HIV research, that one system is more useful than another one. Uh, and uh, uh, sometimes in combination they may produce useful results. Of course, we do not want to use more animals than we need to. Um, even mice are living animals and uh, one should be as kind as one possibly can uh, within the needs of medical research. And with large animals like a camel or a llama, um, you, you must respect, uh, uh, be very humane. But actually our experiments don't do any harm to these animals. Um, it's just like receiving a, a vaccine against brucellosis or bovine TB, something that a camel may, be, uh, may receive in